Hello everyone, today's addition to the collection is this recent release by Mill Creek of Kevin Sorbo's Cull the Conqueror. Now this has been released on Blu-ray before in a different edition. This is the Mill Creek release that just came out last week with the VHS style slipcover. And here's my VHS release, actual VHS release and for this movie. It's not a good movie, but a movie that I find to be enjoyably bad. It's a little bit of a different cover, which is, this is a similar cover to the previous Blu-ray release inside the slipcover. And it's a pretty standard release, nothing too special as far as like extra features or anything like that, but it is a pretty decent copy of the movie overall on Blu-ray. Call of the Conqueror is one of those bad movies that I enjoy because of the context of when it came out. Otherwise, I probably would not like this movie. But this came out during the height of the popularity of Hercules' Legendary Journeys. Kevin Sorbo was a big TV star at the time. That was one of my favorite shows growing up in the 90s. The year prior to this movie's release, I actually went as Kevin Sorbo's Hercules for Halloween. I mean, I was huge into the show. Had all the toys and everything. Hercules and Xena were a huge part of growing up in the 90s. So, of course, I dragged my mom to see this movie in the theaters. And as terrible as it was, I still absolutely loved it. It is a bizarre mishmash of Conan and Cull from Robert E. Howard, who I was also doubly excited because I was getting into reading Robert E. Howard's stories during that time period. So I was very excited. This was originally supposed to be a Conan movie, a third one starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. That didn't pan out, and Kevin Sorbo didn't want to be Conan, so they rewrote a lot of things to make it cull, and it's sort of a mishmash of elements of uh, Conan and cull, and it's kind of its own thing, so it's really, you know, neither, but it's a little more Conan than actually cull. It's a just a bizarre creation and not overly fantastic script wise it's just kind of a silly sword and sorcery kind of action movie and on top of that it has an over the top kind of garage band hard rock soundtrack that does not fit at all but really makes it feel of the time in not in a good way in a very cheesy way uh, not great when it came out, but also something that is very outdated very quickly. It is just silly. The dialogue is atrocious, and then it's added that extra little bit of awesome cheesiness by the terrible deliveries. Kevin Sorbo is, as much as I enjoy Kevin Sorbo, I love Hercules Legendary Journeys. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know I love Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda, so I like Kevin Sorbo. But he's not a really good actor. He honestly is not. And he's not even on his A-game in this movie. He it was perfect as Hercules in Hercules' Legendary Journeys. He was born to play that role. But this first big attempt to propel his career onto the big screen just did not go over well from any direction. So it's, it's not a great movie at all. Um, I, if you haven't seen it before, it's not something that I would be like, oh, you gotta go check that out. But I have a particular attachment to it just because of the time period when it came out, you know, going and seeing it in theaters and being super excited and big fan of Kevin Sorbo. So I loved it when it first came out, even though it was terrible, uh, rewatching it on VHS. And I had a great time rewatching it on Blu ray. Very happy to have it. Uh, before this, you know, I only had the VHS copy. It was released on Laserdisc and you know, DVD before this. So I'm just happy to have a really good, clear, well-presented copy of this movie. And it's just extra cool to have this new Mill Creek Blu-ray release with the, you know, funny slipcover. It's always interesting to have these as kind of a, a throwback to my childhood in the 90s.